Hi and welcome to this demo of Batch and Search Replace Paths. This new version adds two key new features. The first one is you can now have more than one search and replace pair. Before you could only search and replace once. Now by hitting this little plus button, you can add pairs that as long as your uh, window will allow it, you can keep adding as many as you want in the script. will will search and replace them in this order. So first it'll do the search and replace this one and then on the result of that it'll do the second search and replace and then on the result of that it'll do the third and so on and so forth. To remove them you just hit the minus button so you can just search and replace as you need. So keep in mind that what it does is it actually searches and replace the paths. So let's say for example um, let's take a look at this path here. These files are in here they're in scene 102 so let's say I wanted to switch this project to be scene 103 and, and link to these files here which have the name the same naming convention as these so I just want to change the path from scene 101 to scene 103 so I can just do scene 102 to scene 103 and then in the case of say diffuse let's say that that changed to from diffuse to be not diffuse which it didn't but it'll you'll see that it actually uh, will change this folder here from being diffuse to being not diffuse um, and then finally the other big feature that it adds is you can actually now match the project names so it will actually process everything in a the folder you select in this case is this one but it will only process projects that match the name so in this case let's say I want to do demo but if you're familiar with regular expressions and you turn on the use rejects which gives you the general global search or ignore case or both um, features um, we can actually do a little bit of a regular expression so to just match this project and not this one which also has the word demo I just tell it to match the word demo at the beginning and that's you, by putting a little um, caret it's shift six so this says only match the word demo when it's at the beginning of the file name which in case it'll just be this one and not this one and then what it can do now is the new project name the way the old version did it just allowed you to add a suffix now you can do a suffix a prefix or you can actually replace this match with whatever you want so in this case instead of demo I will call it sample okay so the project name will change from being demo.aep to sample.aep, okay? And then finally I can generate a log. I can then basically now choose where I want that log to be saved and we'll actually put the path of the log here. If it's a very long path, it will truncate it to fit in the button. But if you hover over it, the help tip will always give you the full path. And then finally test mode, which is something I highly recommend. It will actually not do anything. It'll just create this test report. You hit do it, you choose the folder where the projects are that you want to process. In this case, uh, this is the folder where these two projects are and, and hopefully it's only going to choose the, this one. So you hit, so you go ahead and hit choose. It processes, as you can see, even though there were two projects in there, it only processed the one project. So when you look in here, you can see this um, new text file in here. It's called test report for demo project. So when you open this up, you can see what it actually did it basically tell it, it goes through each search string so here it went through the first search string and it replaced scene 101 with scene 03 so it took this path uh, which was scene 102 and it replaces it to um, this one here which says scene 103 and then on the second string it replaced replaced diffuse with not diffuse okay so that's how it works in the XML version so when I go back to my project and instead of test mode, I actually do it, turn it off to do it for real. We we'll go ahead and run it. Same thing. I choose the same folder. And when I run it, I can see that it, first of all, it create it, it changed this, this one demo project to sample project. It adds the AEPX uh, format because it now is a, uh, you know, it's a new file. And so, when we open it, you can see here it actually it's missing a few files because it's looking for uh, if you look at the full path, it's looking for them in scene 103, which is what we asked it to do. In the case of this project, it didn't have those files there, 
And then and in the case of diffuse, not diffuse, you can see here it actually changed the path to be not diffuse. So that's how batch search and replace paths works. Hope you enjoy it.